let's take a look at the various aspects of an activity report and how to draft a good activity report. In this presentation, these are the various aspects that will be covered. What is activity report? What is the purpose of an activity report? What does an activity report include? How do you write a good activity report? And a format of an activity report will be explained. First, let's take a look at what is an activity report. An activity report can be of many types. Basically, it's a summary of activities performed over a given period of time. An activity report can also be a documentation of an employee's activities and performance over a specified time period which is submitted to the senior. Activity reports are often presented or submitted to the manager or head of the company. Different kinds of activity reports contain different information and may span different periods of time. Activity reports can be delivered verbally also but most managements prefer a written document. Now let's take a look at what is the purpose of activity report. Activity reports help in bridging the communication gap between a head and his or her employee through the written documentation of the activities that is completed by an employee. An employee's activity report will allow a manager to monitor the tasks of the employee and the progress of the project the employee is currently working on without having the need to talk to the person every day. Activity reports also minimize the time it takes for the manager to monitor and give feedback on every employee's activity. Some activity reports also help to give a summary of an event or an activity which was attended by an employee either outside the organization or within the organization to the manager or head. We are today going to take a look at an event activity report which is to be submitted to a senior and what it includes. Generally, an event activity report includes the name and the designation of the writer of that report. It also may include, if asked for, the name, designation and address of the receiver if there is a fixed receiver for that particular report. The date of the submission has to be also mentioned. Date of the event, name of the event, number of people attending the event, purpose of that event, all of these details should be mentioned right at the beginning of the report. If there are major invitees, chief guests or dignitaries for that event, those names also need to be included in the information section. Post this, the schedule of the event is also posted at times along with the report. And then a summary of each of the item that was carried out in the event or section of the event is given in the report. The report may or may not contain signature depending upon the policy of the organization. Now let's take a look at how do you write a good activity report. The first step towards writing a good report is always to carefully plan your entire report. Remember to create a skeleton of the report so that you have all the information at your fingertips and you don't forget to include any part of the information that needs to go into the report. Secondly, take your time in writing the report. Don't be in a hurry to submit the report. Even though you should submit the report before the deadline, but still give yourself enough time to think about it and write it carefully without mistakes. Give your report a formal structure. If the organization already has a pre-prepared format for a report, follow that particular format or if there is no fixed report structure, then you can generate a structure of your own so that all the information is easily available and visible in the report. Be honest, do not create fake information like the number of attendees for a conference or whether you attended all the sessions or not. So do not create fake information. Be honest about all the information that you are inserting into the report. 
write simply use simple language use present tense and past tense depending on what you're reporting and do not include jargons in it because the report may be read by anybody from the organization always remember to keep a backup of the report both in soft copy and hard copy because generally reports written by individuals may be asked for again for references by anybody in the organization in these cases if you do not have a backup you will find it difficult to find the report and submit it again now let's take a look at the sample format of an event summary or activity report this is a short post event summary report of a conference if you look at the entire format on the top is the title of the report then there is an information section where the name of the event the date of the event location of the event number of persons attending sponsoring organization are all mentioned the contact name and number and email of the writer of this summary is also mentioned in that section post which there is a subheading to the report called conference summary and then each paragraph summarizes the various sections of the event in short mentioning how many people attended it who were the speakers what was spoken about what was the main thrust of the event what was the purpose and how well was it received by the people who attended the conference so these are generally all the information that goes into an event summary or event report that you write out i hope this helps you to write a good activity report thank you